So I have the awesome responsibility of bringing up the evaluators to evaluate our speakers today. So first out of the gate, evaluating Anita Tevi is uh, Nickel. Congratulations. Project number eight, getting comfortable. Okay. Getting comfortable. And you brought up the book. Getting comfortable with visual aids. Doesn't say you have to be perfect. And Anita said to me yesterday, I've only used PowerPoint maybe three times. That was obvious. Okay? Having said that, that's what TGIF is about. I don't know about other clubs, but one of the things we practice is allowing someone to try something new to stretch themselves. John Ruck with his interpretive speech, almost everything John Ruck tries is a stretch. So, <laughs> so I congratulate you on doing that. Look up Seth Good, okay, author of The Purple Cow. He wrote a very good blog about PowerPoint where you had your summary of number of speech number seven. Great, great technique. She referenced back to a previous speech, which was her lead in to this curve speech. It helped connect people. It also paid tribute to why you were doing this speech because other folks had asked. But that was one of the Here's my six line of text with six words per text, which is not the way we should be using PowerPoint or visual aids. Okay. So that's something that you can look at. The fact that you gave us this, this was a much more effective visual aid than showing this picture up here on the slide. So that works. You know, Mark Mace bringing up his t-shirt. Who cares? But that was his visual aid. His little box really helped him. Right? So you really experimented. You tried a couple of different things. I wasn't quite sure where you wanted the speech to go. Whether you wanted to test us or wanted to explore a little bit more about the difference between photographic memory and eidetic memory. So that would have been clear. Thank you, Doug, for the intro. Okay, you started us with a laugh, that was good. Thanking Brad and John ate into your time. All right, so when you only have five to seven minutes, you probably could have done away with that, because when you finished, I thought you were short. That's the problem with when you give a test. And this is a problem that you and I both face. We're used to doing hour-long lectures, two-hour-long seminars in colleges, and therefore, may run out of time. Good job and look forward to more challenges. Thank you.